Hey folks, uh, the ongoing saga of air in the fuel system. Uh, when this truck started uh, doing this, I put a, and I didn't know that was the problem, it just started running pretty bad, so I put an injector pump on it because I keep them here on the shelf because I run so many of these trucks. And uh, this is regular international, it's 7.3. It's not a Ford, there's nothing on it Ford. Uh, international sold Ford their engines and Ford put some of their parts on them, but this is all international. Uh, put an injector pump on it. I have changed the entire fuel filter housing. Of course, new fuel filter. Uh, pulled the tank. Checked the suction tube in, you know, in the tank. Uh, replaced the transfer fuel pump twice. The first time I replaced it, this thing seemed like it ran good for two weeks. And then went to crap. And then uh, put this new one on. And it's not run right at all and I'm finally getting good signs of air in the lines so uh, and it's doing it while it's running it's not doing while it's sitting so it's not bleeding you know air in from up high it's going to be before the fuel pump and uh, what we're going to do to test this this is the fuel line coming in goes through the frame and then just clamps to a regular 3 8 rubber hose goes to our fuel pump uh, we're going to replace it with a clear line and then we're going to replace this line, this hard line, with a clear line going all the way up into the filter and uh, or the filter housing and hopefully if what happens what I think is going to happen we're not going to have any air bubbles going into the pump but I think we're going to have air bubbles coming out. I really think that it's uh, that these pumps are no good first one was good for two weeks this one wasn't good at all so we're gonna we're thinking that's the problem anyway so and when I say were it's me and the voices in my head I guess but uh anyway I'm gonna get these rubber hoses on here and we're gonna go back to uh, seeing what we can figure out I've also uh, replaced all the return lines this truck set up for a while so uh, it did have you know some leaking on the the returns so I put all new o-rings and the the actual plastic ends and the hoses, all that's been replaced. Uh, and like I said, I pulled the tank, and of course I had to break a strap bolt. So I've got to fix that yet. But uh, I'd rather figure out why it's doing what it's doing and get it running right before I worry too much about that. But but uh, trip to Lowe's with some 3/8 line, it's 40 psi, so that's plenty. Uh, of course, it's suction side, so there's no pressure anyway. But uh, well, on one side of it, the other side's not, but we're going to uh, get a piece on there and just route it any old way out of, you know, where it's not hitting anything, and we're going to test this thing out. It seems like I can bleed it out, get it started. It'll run maybe a minute or two, and then uh, it'll die. Check the bleeder valve, and it's got air back in it. So we're getting ready to test this uh, AutoZone fuel pump here. And... Uh, if that's the problem, then we're going to go a different route somehow. But I'll uh, show you more when I get the lines on. Okay, folks, we got our plastic lines hooked up. I just took this one out of the frame, went ahead and ran it straight from the fitting into the pump. And then I got one from the pump running up, running through this clear plastic one, and then all the way up into the, into the filter housing. And I'm going to bleed it out and start it up. And Hope, 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 hope we can find some air in it. Show you more. Okay, what we have here is we've got air 
coming in our line before the pump, so we're not blaming it on the pump anymore. Uh, plug with the line a little bit. It's got that it's fuel line, but it looks just like air hose. And uh, tightened on the back fitting, played around with it, and actually got it to where it wasn't as bad, but uh, it's still leaking, so we're going to replace this entire line tomorrow. And uh, I'm sure that's what our problem is. Somewhere it's either got a little crack in it, or on that rear fitting, it's not it's not seating good uh, on the compression fitting. So we're going to replace that, and then uh, we'll go from there and see what she looks like. But uh, you see how to do it anyway. You see the air in the lines, and uh, it's a pretty easy way to check in them. And uh, because the air in lines on a diesel will really mess with you. But, uh, show you more later. Okay, folks, we got this air line off. Under this clamp, this clamp was actually slid over there. This was under the cab of the truck. I found this. Uh, it may have been cracked enough right in here. to have been sucking a little bit of air in. But, not for sure. But, I mean, crimp's not good anyway. I'm going to pick up an uh, air line tomorrow, or a fuel line, excuse me. I think this is actually an air line. That's what to use is half inch, but uh, I'll find out if there's any difference between the diesel and the airline. It's got DOT approved on it. I, I'm wondering if it's not just regular airline, but uh, I will uh, get a new one on there tomorrow and maybe we can get this thing dependable. Yeah. Nothing worse than not knowing whether you're going to make it back home or make it to the job where you're going. So. And uh, anyway, and every time I look at my my horns there, that was given to me by a man named Larry Newton. He owned ENL Towing, and uh, I had known him since I was probably about 20 years old. And uh, he sort of adopted me, and he uh, he always told everybody he adopted me anyway. And uh, I guess. About as close as thing I knew to a dad anyway. But uh, he was a uh, retired military, fought in Vietnam. Good fella, good as gold. And uh, he passed away December 22nd last year. And uh, every time I see them horns, I think of him. And, uh, and every time I blow them, I think of him. And every time I go past his gravesite, he's actually buried there on Fort Bragg in military. And uh, every time I go past his gravesite, I I blow them. He actually gave them to me when he was sick and told me that I needed to put them on my new record. So that's where they are. And uh, anyway, it's Veterans Day, so it's a good time to be thinking about it. All right, show you more. Okay, folks. Nighttime, dark, but uh, I did get the line on. Uh, I went ahead and put new. New ends on it, new flares, everything, you know, no use not doing it. And I got all the regular lines hooked back up and uh, bled out, runs great. Finally, uh, long one, that's for sure. But uh, just remember, if you got a leak on a diesel, well, on anything before the, uh, before the fuel pump, a lot of times you won't see anything leaking. It'll be an air suction leak, so uh, diesel's real important. And uh, I guess the gas would be too, but diesel for sure. And uh, hopefully this helps somebody in the future if they need to try to find a problem like this. Uh, I should have done this to start with instead of uh, jumping in there and assuming and throwing a pump on. And But, you know, I've had so many these trucks for so long and and had so many different problems that, you know, usually you, you can about pinpoint it. But this one here fooled me for sure. But, uh... She is fixed and ready to go, so appreciate you watching. Till next time. Bye.